dickery dickery dock. Ooh, time to beat the clock. Time for fun has now begun. Let's all play beat the clock. <laughs> Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. For half a century, a quality name in incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes and fixtures, photo lamps, radio and television sets, radio and television tubes and electronic devices. Yes, for homes, offices, schools and factories, Sylvania. Let's all play Beat the Clock. And here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Kyer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. Let's re-meet our very tall and very handsome couple over here that are holdovers from last week. How are you again? Mighty nice to have you back. Mr. Doctor and Mrs. Markham, isn't that right? Right, right? Dr. Markham, I didn't get to ask you last week. Time was kind of short. What kind of a doctor you are? I'm a dentist. Well, you're a dentist? That's right. And how did you happen to meet your pretty wife here? Oh, <laughs> I sort of picked her up in a library. You picked her up in a library? <laughs> That's right. What volume were you reaching for when you got this one? Well, I was going to school and just uh, doing a little studying. Uh -huh. And uh, Well, you picked the right subject, boy. Yeah, I'm so telling right. you. <laughs> You've been married six years. I've seen you have two children, a boy and a girl. And, of course, they get the a camera and the Roxanne doll. We told you that last week, didn't Wonderful. we? Huh? Yeah. Well, that's fine. All right, now remember, uh, did I give you one of these football guys last week or didn't I? From Sylvania, if I didn't take that along with you tonight, Doctor, will you? you? Has all the names of the players, the various teams and schedules and rules and regulations and things like that. And the bonus is worth tonight $1,500. Wherever that bell rings, whatever lady's up at that time gets a chance at it. Maybe you. Now, right now, let's pick up where we left off. Last week, you were on the $200 clock, and you had some boxes and some catching to do. Remember? Did you practice at home? Yes, All right. Come on over. Let's see what kind of a technique you developed. Now, if you would just stop off here, Miss Markham, I'll have to explain to the audience who maybe didn't see it last week. You stand behind this line over here, Doctor, you remember, and all you have to do is to catch and hold four of those boxes which your wife will kick through the air to you. So as soon as you are holding four, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. You can kick in any order from anywhere you want to. It doesn't matter. Take a look at the clock first and see how many uh, seconds you have. 45. No, you just have to kick them. You can turn them around, yes. Then you have to kick them uh, from where they are. You want them in another... All right, you line them up. That's okay. Good enough. Are you ready? Go. There's one. <laughs> There's two. a lot of fun. When they started off last week, they'd have been grabbing them every which way, but when they work out their own little system at home, of course, you've got to have real legs to get out and straddle two of those, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, that wasn't quite as bad as pulling teeth, I don't imagine anyway, was it? And of course, it got you through the $200 clock, which is really what you came back to do and what we hoped you would do, and you did. Are the kids watching, by the way? Oh, they sure are. Oh, I bet they're jumping up and down. Well, Dr. Miss Markham, now, of course, you come to the jackpot clock, and that's no part of you, Dr. Markham. You can't help in any way. You just have to stand down over there and hold good thoughts for your lovely wife. Meantime, Miss Markham, will you step up on this platform and then turn around again and face the audience, and don't turn back again until I tell you to. And back of you now is our jackpot board with all the words of a famous saying or quotation all held there by magnetism, and you can move them around. And we want you to move them around on the board because they're all mixed up. You've got to move them around until they spell out the saying or quotation we're after, and all this in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Now, don't turn around till I tell you to. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. No, 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 no. No, you had it almost right before. You had it almost right before. Read it to yourself. That's it! Stop the clock! There's nobody here but us. <laughs> You get up there and it doesn't look the same at all. You were, you were trying to spell out nobody theirs but us chickens and you were holding the hair out in left field here somewhere. Well, you did it. You beat our jackpot clock, so let's see what you've done. Just take a look over here. It's the 1954 Sylvania Stratford with a 21-inch screen and the great new photo power chassis. 
for photographically clear pictures in even the most distant reception areas. And, of course, the Stratford has halo lights for the greatest eye comfort in all televisions. Congratulations, Dr. and Mrs. Markham. You have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Oh, congratulations. Well, Roxanne, whom do we have now? Bud, now I'd like you to meet Mr. and Mrs. James Griffiths from Denver, Colorado. Thank you very much. How are you, Mr. and Mrs. Griffiths? Welcome from our audience, too. How are you? Uh, may I ask what you do, Jim? I'm a calculator and typewriter repairman on USS Orion. In the Navy? Yes, sir. What's this, the new uniform they're issuing? Uh, yes, sir. I like it. it looks well, very nice. <laughs> my commanding officer wouldn't. You don't think he was? Mm. Is he out there in the audience now? Yes, sir. <laughs> Who is he? Um, Lawton. Captain Lawton? Lawn, I think. Lawn. You don't know your commanding officer's name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Captain Lawn, uh, uh, what about this? Does he pass inspection? Where are you? Captain, does he pass inspection? He does he pass inspection. There you are. You see, call it up to you. All right, do you have any children? No. No children. All right, now let's see. Your home is Denver, Colorado. Is that right? That's right. Well, let's move you along into your $100 clock now. It involves the two of you. If you both come over here with me, I'll show you what it is. Now, first off, Betty's giving me a mail bag, and I'm going to ask you to stand in front of your wife, if you will, uh, Jim. Stand right, right here. I'm going to put this over your head, if I may. And then it's up to you to stand uh, just about, well, come up here just a little bit, right about there, that's it. And hold this open. You can also hold this part open, too, if you want to. And your wife is going to be the hands for you. She reaches around you, and here is a roll of paper toweling. Now, when I say go, all you have to do is start unrolling that paper toweling and get all of it in that mailbag in the number of seconds that you have from the time I say go. And I'll tell you how many that is right now. Take a look at the clock. 55 seconds to get it all in there. Do you understand? And you can't help except by holding the bag open. Do you understand, too? Okay, you ready? Go! <laughs> That's it, faster. And the better you're saying, faster. be able to sign a check for a week now. That really get your arms going there. Well, good enough. Now, Mr. and Ms. Griffiths, let me see. Uh, Jim, when you get shore leave, do you help around the house at all? Yes, sir. <laughs> do you help the wife put dishes away and pack away to tins and pies and things like that? Yes, sir. Well, if you'll come over here with me now, and I think you better hand your glasses to you, Mrs. Griffiths, and let her hold them for you, if you don't mind. You can see all right without them, can't you? I'm still here. This is me, right over here. <laughs> come on over here with me, because we have a special little corner of a kitchen. I want you to work out. Uh, bring out our kitchen corner, if you will, please. <laughs> Step right up there, if you will, please. Jim, that's the idea. Well, how about that? Now we're going to ask you to put a shower cap on, if you will. And your problem is comparatively simple. Now, all you have to do, you see these three uh, whipped cream pies here? Each one of them has to be stacked in the pie plate that's right in front of it. See, there's a pie plate that's fastened down here to stack this in that, that in that, and that in that. And it's comparatively simple. The only thing is, you may not use your hands at any time. <laughs> and, and you may not pick the pie plate up with your teeth on the edge. But you have to use your face and just slide it over there, tip the pie plate up like that, and get it down to the other plate. You see the idea? Okay. Can you what? Why, sure. You hold on. Anything you want to except not touch the pies. I'll take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. You have 45 seconds. Don't worry about spilling anything, boy. We got you covered. And the floor here is just Congolium. You just mop it up, and it's as good as new. So you just go to work now and enjoy your whipped cream. Are you ready? Go! That's it. That's it. 
Good boy! Roxanne, come on out here. Take a picture of the young man so we'll have a little record with one of your Sylvania flash bulbs with a blue dot for sure shot. The girls will get you cleaned up, Jim. Come back over here to Miss Griffiths. Tell me, does he like uh, whipped cream? Very much. Good. Well, he had a good chance to taste it there tonight. That's good whipped cream. Now, you carry on for the family, if you will. If you'll step up on this little platform, we'll get Jim all cleaned up and delivered back to you good as new. Face the audience. Don't turn around again now until I tell you to. And back of you now is our jackpot board with all of the words of another famous saying or quotation. And you've got to move these words around until they spell out that saying or quotation because they're all mixed up on the board. You got the idea? You have 20 seconds. Don't turn around until I tell you to. All right. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. Stop the clock. A word to the wise. <laughs> right. So now let's see what you won. Just take a look over here. Again, Sylvania presents the Stratford, one of its great TV line for 54, with such exclusive features as the Photopower chassis for photographically clear pictures in all areas, and Halo Light, which surrounds this 21-inch screen for the most comfortable viewing you've ever experienced. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Griffiths. You, too, have just won Sylvanian jackpot prize. Very happy hours when you do that. You'll find your husband safe and sound backstage. You're welcome. Good night. Oh, Roxanne, whom do we have now? Bud, now I'd like you to meet Mr. and Mrs. Harper. Uh, wait a minute! The bonus bell! You get the bonus bell! Now, wait a minute now. You got some skating even though before we even introduced them. What, what are the names now? Come on, tell me Mr. who they are. Mr. and Mrs. Orville Barrett from Pittstown, New Jersey. Good enough. Miss Barrett, without any further ado, come on over here. You get to try for $1,500 oh, tonight. Perfect. Don't say it all right. I take it back. A dollar and a half. Now, here we have... Son, you know pretty much what it is then. Yeah. You have to use this pancake turner on that cup, this one on this one. Get one cup standing on each pancake turner without helping with your body or helping with each other. Just separately. Got the idea? Take that one in that hand, that one in this one. $1,500 riding on this. And how many seconds? Let's take a look. 50 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Easy enough. run bonus done of any we've ever had. $1,500. Golly, we didn't even find out what you do. Orville, what, what do you do for a living? Farmer. You're a farmer? Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, you can really plow a lot of potatoes with that, can't you, huh? Yes, sir. Well, Andy, congratulations to you. Boy, I'm so proud of you. And you know what? You can take these along as a souvenir. You take them along with you, and remember what you did with those two little pancake turners made you, in just a few, for less than a minute's work, $1,500. I don't and believe a, it. And a check will be mailed to you post haste right away from Sylvania, and our congratulations to you. Believe me, that Thank means, you. of course, folks, a brand new bonus starting again next week. Wonder what it'll be. Even I don't know yet, but we'll work one out. And in the meantime, uh, I tell you, it's, uh, you have two children. That's right. How old are they? One's six and one's eight months. One's six and one Little eight months? six and boy eight months. Oh, well, golly, let's see, the boy's kind of young, but for the six-year-old girl, well, anyway, we're going to give him a camera, too, just, you know, oh, have it when he grows up anybody. a little bit. Roxanne, bring out these things, will you? Now, uh, here's a Roxanne doll for your little girl. Oh, she'll love and, it. And here is a, is a beautiful little Argus oh, 75 with nice. flash attachment and uh, a little kit here of these wonderful Sylvania flash bulbs with a blue dot for sure shot. 
They'll be yeah. sent to you, so you'll have them there, fresh as can be out there. Thanks very much, Roxanne. And in the meantime, uh, we got to get you into your one hundred dollar clock now. Oh, I don't think I can do it now. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to quit while you're ahead, is that the idea? <laughs> well, you did a mighty good job, believe me, Mr. Miss Barrick. And uh, we'll get into your one hundred dollar clock as soon as you catch your breath just a little bit. What kind of farming do you do, Orville? Dairy and poultry farming, general farm. How large a farm do you have? 265 acres. Ooh, it's not ours, I mean. Your tenant farm, is that it? Oh, you're saving that. for it, I see. All right, now, Mr. Miss Barrick, here we have a twosome on this one. You can get out here and help out, Orville. So if you and your nice wife will come over here. Orville, if you'll go to the far side of this table here. Miss Barrick, you take a hold of this side of it. You'll find that if you pull this table apart, you know, there are, it's expandable. You know, oh, pull it up, pull it apart. That's the idea. Now, you can close it again. You don't have to close it all the way if you don't want to. But what I'm going to do is place, we're going to place these balloons one at a time under the table like this. Now, what you have to do, they're filled with helium, so they go up in the air, you see? And all you have to do is you can use your foot to push it over to the center of the table and then pull the table open enough to let it come through the opening and then slam the table together and break the balloon. If you have broken two balloons, we'll stop the clock and you beat the clock. Take a look now, see how many seconds you have. 55 seconds. All right, sir, putting it under here. Are you ready? Go. the bell rings, that'd have been too tight. That was harder than the cups. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ought to go back and do the cups. Incidentally, you know, a lot of you, uh, people have written saying, how, how do you get tickets for Beat the Clock? Well, your best bet is to write ahead, particularly if you're coming into New York from out of town. And the most important thing is let us know the Saturday that you're going to be in. Give us the date. Frequently, they write and say, would you please send me two tickets or four tickets? I'm planning a trip to New York. They don't say when for. We have to kind of take a guess at it. So come on and write in, because you can't tell. You may be picked out of the audience as these folks were. You may break a bonus stunt. You may just have a wonderful time. But in any event, we hope you come see us. All right, now, Mr. Ms. Barry, that's the $100 clock. Let's try the $200 clock. You pretty uh, fast on your feet, boy? You can try. Come on over here. Let's see what you do on the $200 clock. Now here, thanks very much, Madeline. Here is a large inclined plane, you see, of uh, a board, just wood. And here's a laundry basket down here. Now, I'm going to make believe that this is laundry, Orville, if that's all right with you. And I'm going to drop one hunk of it there, and I drop one hunk there, one here, and the last one out there. Now, what you have to do is this. When I say go, you start rolling this tennis ball up this incline, run over and pick up a piece of laundry, drop it in the basket, come back and catch the ball before it drops on the ground. Then you do the same thing with the second one, and then with the third, and then with the fourth. Each time, you must roll the ball up the inclined plane far enough so it holds there for you long enough for you to get out and get the next piece of laundry. You got that? Yep, you get it. It's all right. Thank you very much. All right. That's all you have. Now, if you drop the ball or anything like that, you see, anything goes wrong, we have to stop, reset the whole thing, Orville. So don't waste any time. In the meantime, take a look over your shoulder and see how many seconds you have. 55 seconds. Are you ready? Go. <laughs>
roll it a little ways like that, you don't give yourself much time. But if you take the ball and give it a little bit of a spin like that, it'll go up and kind of delay a little more, you see? You can roll it pretty close to the top that way, and it gives you a little more time. Try to roll it a little close to the top, but don't let it go off the top. All right, now, each one of those things has to win the basket. You still have a full 30 seconds, boy, so it's worth trying. Are you ready? Go! Come on. Ooh. That's the one. Ooh. your turn, Ms. Barrick, to try again. You open the proceedings, you close the proceedings. You have to try for our jackpot clock. Orville, if you don't mind standing back over there, you can only help your wife with good thoughts, not by telling her anything. Step up on this platform, Ms. Barrick. If you will, turn around and face the audience. Right. Now, don't turn back till I tell you to. And back of you now is our jackpot board. And again, we have all the words of a famous saying or quotation, and again, they're all mixed up. You get them unmixed. So they spell out the saying or quotation in 20 seconds. Now, don't look till I tell you to. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go! Okay, stop the clock. The voice is not going to get you right. All right, you have been our jackpot clock. Now let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Again, yeah. Sylvania presents the Stratford. One of its great TV line, 454, with such exclusive features as a photo power chassis for photographically clear pictures in all areas, and halo light, which surrounds this 21-inch screen for the most comfortable viewing you've ever experienced. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Barrick. In addition to the bonus prize, you have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Thank you very much. All right, Roxanne, whom do we have now? Now, Bud, we have Mr. and Mrs. Lynn Schrader from Lexington, Kentucky. Thank you very much. Hello, Miss Schrader. How are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? How long have you folks been married? 18 months. Do you have any children? No, we don't. I see. Where are you stationed, uh, Lynn? Uh, Fort Slocum. Fort Slocum, New York. How long have you been in service now? Uh, nine months. How much longer do you plan to remain? Just the remainder of my two years. You're going to get right on out again. What will you do in private life, sir? Well, I was a student before I came in. I see. Where? Uh, Purdue University. What we study? Agronomy. Soils. Will you go back doing that? Uh, I'm not for sure. Uh -huh. Well, good luck to you, whatever you do. Believe me, we Thank should you. have very, very best of good luck. Now, of course, we're going to start you out on the $100 clock. We start everybody on the $100 clock. Well, Mr. Miss Schrader, let's see what we have in store for you now on the $100 clock. Since you haven't worn civilian hats in a while, Lynn, come on over here with your wife, and I'll see how you look in a civilian hat. All right. Now, first, I'm going to give you, Mrs. Uh, what is it, Schrader? Uh, this grocery store grab. Have you ever seen those things? You know how you work them? Take a hole like that, see, in both those places, and it just grapples like that. That's the idea. Now, if you step over here, I'm going to put a hat on your husband and see how he looks in a civilian hat. Boy, he looks just fine. All right. Now, your problem is simply this. Here are three more hats. One on the floor there, one there, one there. Using only that grocery store grabber, pick up those hats one at a time and pile them up on top of the ones he has on his head until all five are balanced on top of his head. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 50 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Take it by the brim, you find it's easier. You stand up, see. Make it harder for you. You can up and down, you may knock them off. That's, that's, uh, what was your Now you feel better. You got through the $100 clock. The $200 clock is coming right up. And that involves, come on over here with me and I'll show you what it involves. Now here we have some, well, say, here we have some. I'll show you. Here we have two plungers, you see, like this, two of them. Here we have some volleyballs. Now I'll let you figure out what it is you're going to have to do with them. Can you come back next week? Oh, yeah. Good enough. We'll see you next week. It'll be our first contestant starting on this stunt at that time. Good night for now. Nice to have had you here with us tonight. 
Right now, this is Bud Cotty speaking for Savania, reminding you that our biggest record bonus went tonight for $1,500 for two cups on the pancake turners. Start a new one next week. And right now, saying goodnight for Savania, hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.